Ongoing trauma, flashbacks and depression. This is the mental health legacy of a life on the front line for some ex-Northern Territory police officers. A number of former and current officers have come forward to share their stories with the ABC and are calling for better services to be made available by NT Police and for an independent public inquiry into the issue. And a warning, this story contains content which may be triggering or depressing or distressing to some viewers. This image of Nick Carter, taken after he was king hit by a nightclub punter on Darwin's main party strip in 2016, has a far different resonance now than it did back then. Now that I'm no longer in the police, you do get flashbacks to that kind of thing and that's one of the, the things that uh, I know full well could have ended a whole lot worse. Mr Carter quit the Northern Territory Police last June after eight years of service. He's now decided to speak out about the impact those years have had on his mental health. You see things and, and hear things and, and attend to things that, you know, no, no, nobody can comprehend. The ABC has spoken to five past and present officers who say there are inadequate services available to help police cope with the pressures of an unyielding and traumatic role. The support mechanisms that they've got in place are, I can only say, poor. Ex-officers say the NT's specific challenges, a vast area to cover with limited resources, pose a significant mental strain. You just overwork. Once the sergeant left, there was, there was myself and one, one member, and we did four days straight with three hours sleep over that four days, and they were in half an hour intervals. We just could not function anymore. Mr Hartshorn, who quit the Territory Police in 2020, suffered a nervous breakdown while working at a remote station in the Gulf Country. He says he still suffers from PTSD symptoms on a daily basis. I struggle to get up every day. I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I'm depressed. I, I think of suicide nearly every day now, so not, I don't want to do it, but it, it just pops in your head. The NT Police Association is backing the calls of ex-officers like Mr Hartson and Mr Carter in wanting to see an independent public inquiry into the state of NT Police mental wellbeing. We know there are many other jurisdictions around the country undertaking some terrific work in this space um, and we've been left behind in, in a large degree. Police Commissioner Jamie Chalker did not take up a request for interview, but in a statement, NT Police defended its service provision and said it was looking at ways to better support frontline workers into the future. The agency is committed to undertaking a review of its structure to ensure services are fit for purpose and meeting the needs of its staff, with an independent review commissioned and in progress. For Nick Carter, He's just hoping the system will be improved for younger officers going into the force so they don't find themselves left with mental scars from the front line. Matt Garrick, ABC News. And if you or someone you know needs help, please contact Beyond Blue by phone or their website. Or if you're experiencing distress, please contact Lifeline on 13 11 14.